A cistern can be filled by two pipes A and B in 25 hours and 15 hours uh, respectively and then emptied by a tap in 10 hours. If all the taps are open, the cistern will be filled in. So let me help you to answer this question, guys. We all will solve together. A cistern can be filled by two pipes A and B in 25 hours and 15 hours. That means these two pipes, pipe A and pipe B, these are filling pipes. Next, and then emptied by a tap in 10 hours. So and then emptied by a tap in 10 hours means this is negative pipe. If all the pipes are opened, the cistern will be filled in. Is that the same as the previous question, guys? Is that the same as the previous question or not? Yes. Okay. So write down the values. Time taken by A is nothing but 25. Time taken by B is nothing but 15. Next, time taken by C is nothing but 10 hours. Okay. So you please check the LCM of these values. So 25, 15, and 10. 5, 3, 6, and 2, 6. So 25, 25, 6 are, it is 150. One second. Five fives, five threes, and five twos. What's the LCM that we are getting for this, guys? It's 150. So LCM is 150. That you can take it as total work. Okay. If total work is equal to 150, we have one basic formula, guys. That is the same formula we are using throughout this uh, topic to solve. Total work equal to efficiency multiplied by time. So using this formula, find out the efficiency of this tap uh, and uh, check for the value of a uh, question. So efficiency of tap A is nothing but work 150 divided by 25. Okay. 150 divided by 25, that is 6 positive value. Why? Because that is used to fill the tank. Okay. Next efficiency of B. Again, the same thing, 150 divided by 15. So here, that is equal to 10. That is also positive work, guys. Why? Because that is used to fill the tank. Okay. Next, efficiency of C. Efficiency of C means uh, here negative work, I could say. 150 divided by 10, that is equal to 15. So 15, that is negative work, guys. Why? Because if you see the second line of the question, they mentioned that emptied by a tap in 10 hours. Okay. Emptied by a tap in 10 hours means uh, pipe C is used to empty the tank. So that is minus. So if all the pipes are working together, I can write uh, efficiency of all the pipes together as A is positive, B is positive, but C is negative. So first pipe six will release 6 units of water into the tank. Second pipe will release 10 units of water into the tank. And the third pipe will empty 15 units of water. If that is the case, if all the taps are open together, if one hour is completed, only one unit of water will be there. Okay. So what is the time taken by the by them to fill the tank means so time taken by A plus B plus C with this efficiency is total work 150 divided by 1, 150 hours. So what's the answer for the question? Option B, 150 hours. Sai Pournami, Nainika, Pavan, 162, Sangamesh, Pradeep, Pavan. Superb, guys. Process of solving the question is the same as the previous one, guys. Just the values are different. Finding out the LCM. While finding LCM, make sure that your LCM is correct or not. Because that will decide whether you are going to answer the question in a proper way or not. So after that, efficiencies, you can calculate. A and B are positive pipe. C is negative pipe. So based on that, uh, if all were working together, it will release only one unit of uh, water into the tank. So time taken by all the three to work and finish the tank, like, uh, fill the tank is nothing but 150 hours. Is that clear, guys? If yes, please raise the hand so that we can continue for the next question. Yes or no? Okay. Leak concept is the same thing. They might give you two pipes of uh, like uh, two filling pipes, two empty pipes. Next one. 
वन टू थ्री फोर फोर लाइन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन गाइज फोर लाइन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन मीन्स प्लीज डोंट फील दैट द क्वेश्चन इज डिफिकल्ट वॉट एवर द प्रोसेस दैट वी आर स्टार्ट लाइक यूजिंग टू सॉल्व फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द क्लास द सेम प्रोसेस जस्ट द वैल्यूज आर डिफरेंट अब्जर्व वॉट आर द पॉजिटिव पाइप्स वॉट आर द नेगेटिव पाइप्स हियर इन द क्वेश्चन फॉलो द प्रोसेस टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन try this question by yourself and share the answer here in the chat box guys we have solved enough questions based on uh, this model okay two pipes a and b can fill the tank in 2 hours and 3 hours respectively pipe a is nothing but filling pipe pipe b is also nothing but filling pipe and two pipes c and d can empty the tank in 3 hours and 4 hours respectively so c and d can empty the tank that means it is negative pipe d is also negative pipe because they are used to empty the tank next all together are opened then what is the time taken by the tank to be filled or to be emptied okay all the pipes are opened at a time okay guys imagine this is the tank you have two filling pipes and two empty pipes okay so two empty pipes are nothing but p and d and two positive pipes are like this okay so two will be filling the tank and two will be emptying the tank if that is the case what is the time taken by them to fill the tank or empty the tank okay so fill the tank or empty the tank means uh, if your efficiency is positive you can fill the tank if your efficiency is negative you can empty the tank okay already we got responses for the question whether it is to fill or empty please make sure that uh, you are answering for the correct one guys i could see uh, filling and uh, emptying for both you have given the responses okay let's check here time taken by a is equal to 2 hours next time taken by b that is 3 hours and what is time taken by c again 3 hours time taken by d is nothing but 4 hours so you need to find out the lcm of these values 2 3 3 4 so what's the lcm of these values guys 3 2 so 6 6 2 is 12 so lcm is nothing but 12 you can take this 12 as nothing but uh, total work also okay based on that uh, try to find out the efficiency of these values efficiency of a is nothing but work divided by time work is 12 divided by time 2 that is equal to 6 units positive work because it's filling the tank efficiency of b is equal to 12 divided by 3 that is equal to 4 this is also positive work because filling the tank now efficiency of c equal to 12 divided by 3 which is equal to 4 negative work which is emptying the tank efficiency of d is equal to 12 divided by 4 again negative work which is emptying the tank okay now if all the taps are working together a is giving the positive work b is giving the positive work C is giving negative and D is also giving the negative work. Okay, so six plus four positive, minus four minus three negative. This minus four plus four will be getting cancelled off, guys. Six minus three means you will be holding with the positive three. Okay, what's the meaning of positive three? Positive three means uh, your efficiency is to fill the tank. Okay, by chance while combining this efficiency of A B C D, if you get any negative value. the meaning of negative value is nothing but uh, the tank is going to be emptied guys okay as you got the positive value the meaning of that is nothing but uh, the tank is going to be filled okay now time taken by a b c d to fill the tank total efficiency is 12 divided by 3 that means 4 so 4 hours is the time 4 hours is the time to fill or empty 4 hours is the time to fill why because you got positive efficiency okay so what's the answer for the question 
answer for the question is four hours to fill the tank answer for